our summer activities have now become indoors. We can't open our doors and windows. Oh, sorry, hang on a second, here it comes. 75 to 80 decibels is what an audio reader measures when a REM train, Montreal's new light rail network, passes through Griffintown. And residents of condo buildings that line the track have been complaining about the noise well before the official start of service at the end of July. CDPQ Infra, a subsidiary of Quebec's public pension fund who own and operate the REM, informed residents by email that in two weeks they'll release a report and hold info sessions about the noise. I sat outdoors and it was about 7.30 in the morning or so and I counted trains and all that went between 78 and 82 dBs. I counted 32 trains in one hour. Manel and Eddie moved to Griffintown in April 2022, knowing the REM was coming. They had mentioned something to the effect that it shouldn't be louder than uh, car traffic, louder than a car. So when we first moved here, we saw the REM track. We were very excited about seeing all of this in, in motion. We saw it being built. We saw it being tested and whatnot. Um, and then when they started running at full, full schedule tests in the springtime, uh, we said to ourselves, what on earth is that sound? Since the two are retired, they spend a lot of time enjoying their home, meaning they're exposed to the REM sounds for its 20 hours a day of service, which they say has forced them to stay indoors. I haven't sat out on my balcony. It's too loud. This is beyond cars and sirens and traffic noise. This is intolerable. Where were the engineers when they planned all this? We did a lot of things to be sure that there is no uh, that the noise of uh, is minimum and a lot of simulation. There is a couple of points that needs to, de to be improved. The REM has used sound barriers near certain parts of the track and installed microphones atop condo buildings to test the sound. They're expected to unveil their report in public sessions for the Griffintown, Point St. Charles and Nuns Island sectors at the end of the month. Where are we going to present? all the results, all the mitigation measures that we are going to take and the schedule on which we are going to implement them. Find us a solution. We have to now move. We are actively looking for somewhere else to live that's further away from here. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.